Oh, I just uh, bought a uh, the Viper, 10 foot 4 kayak, bought it in Menards. Uh, me and a buddy have been thinking about doing some kayak fishing. And they didn't want to spend a lot of money on some kayaks. I mean, everybody knows it gets quite expensive. Uh, Menards had these marked down uh, 150 uh, with a with a rebate. I ended up giving 130 for it. Uh, like I said, it's called 10 foot 4 Viper kayak. Uh, went through a lot of a lot of mods to it. A lot of different things. You can do and change. A lot of things you can make. A lot of things you can buy. Uh, to start off, we did a rudder kit on the back. Uh, Instead of using your hands to turn or using your paddle to turn, we end up doing it with our foot stirrups. Um, it's, this is all rope, rope driven. You can do a uh, cable if you like. Uh, rope was easier for me and quicker. Uh, we came up, came up with a thing. We came down through here. Um, on your stirrups, you got your lock. You got to unscrew your stirrups, take your lock out. That frees your stirrups up. And when you can move back and forth. Um, as you can see, I'll go to the back and you can see the stirrups. I can turn it and you can watch. And I turn the, the pedals move as well. Um, the one thing we ran into on, on this one here was we was going to put, we, we watched a few guys put lungies on the back of them put the rudder back straight. Um, when, when, when you put a bungee on the back or a spring on the back and, and the rudder goes back straight again, it, it pulls your cable or, or, your, or your string. So we went to the front of the kayak on the front of your stirrups and put springs on the very front of them. Um, I don't know if you can see them. I can show you what we use. Okay. Ends up being a lot better. It pulls them whenever you push, pull back and forth. I can show you on this one here. It, it, it's a lot easier, a lot better. Stuff ain't blowing up in the back. Um, it's, it's, all in all, it's, it's 10 times easier. My rudder kit, I ordered off of Amazon. It was cheap. 30 some dollars, I can't remember what it was, on Amazon. Um, flips up, flips down, there's no spring load. A lot of people get, uh, there's a lot of feedback on there that yeah, it comes with a spring, it, it does, doesn't come with a, it doesn't come with a spring. You can put one on there if you like, I don't think it's needed, you can try it. Um, then I got to where I didn't really want to, I, I don't want to paddle as much. I don't want to get to where I'm going a little bit faster. So I put a uh, Minnecota 30, 30 pound crust trolling motor on the side, um, made my mounting bracket. Uh, the mounting bracket that I made is completely removable, no tools required, everything slides out, slides right back in, drop the bolt through, you're good to go. And you can still turn with the, with, the, with the trolling motor if you like. You don't have to. You can use the rudder if you're using the rudder. Uh, a buddy of mine was a buddy of mine and me was talking. You know, when we're out all day long, we don't know whether how long our batteries are going to last. So we ended up going to Academy Sports, and Academy Sports had these here. It's a solar panel, three watt solar panel. Um, great. Charge with, with absolutely no sunlight, they'll charge. I mean, it's, it's awesome. So we powered that straight to our battery. Um, one thing I did want to want to show is a lot of people think, oh, you got to have a humongous deep cycle battery to run a trolling motor all day. You don't. Um, there's a couple different options. There's a battery. It's called a Mighty Max battery. You can order them from Walmart. You can order them online. They're little. Same size as a lawnmower battery. Can you see that there? It's a Mighty Max battery. It's a 30 amp, uh, 35 amp battery, 35 amp hour battery. 
Um, runs for a while. I've had it out a few times. It does amazing. Uh, ain't had any trouble out of it. Other than I don't want to be out all day long and, and run out of juice, so we put these on here. Um, after we put them on there, it's, it's, it's hard to tell how much voltage you have, what, what you're running, uh, what your percentage is on your battery. So we got on eBay and we ordered these here. It's a, it's a voltage meter. I mean, when you, when you get them, you can shut them off, you can turn them on. It's all on the touch of a finger. To turn them on, you'll tap it. It recalculates itself. It shows you that you're, well, like with, with mine, I'm running 12.9 volts at 82 to 83 percent battery um, and that's with with my solar panel runner um, it's, it's done amazing so far we, we ain't had any trouble out of them we just got everything hooked up uh, hopefully that that lasts uh, the next thing i went and done is a lot of people run uh, fish finders net finders i went with a uh, it's a hummingbird fishing buddy it's a 140c you can adjust your depth up and down. Uh, I made the mount on this one. It's, I don't know, there's some things I might have changed, but it was kind of quick. Um, it swivels here from the handle. It pivots 180 at the top. You can unplug it and it's rechargeable. When you're done with it, it pulls right out. You can flip this up and it's done. Um, there's, like I said, there's a few things that I've done different, but it was, it was kind of quick, to the point and simple. Um, like I said, I've made all my brackets and so far with a 10.4 Viper kayak. It's been an amazing kayak. Uh, I've had it in the water a few times. Uh, it's, all in all, it's, it's probably the best fishing kayak that I've had so far. So we're going to give it a shot this summer and uh, here soon uh, we'll update a video with us uh, in the water with our kayaks. Appreciate you watching. Give me a thumbs up.